In this video, you'll add 40 telemetry traffic to an existing IPsec VPN site-to-site -site tunnel between two FORTI gates in order to add a remote FORTI gate to your security fabric. You will also allow the remote FORTI gate to access the FORTI analyzer for logging. You will need FORTI OS 5.6.1 or higher. In this example, the root FORTI gate in the security fabric is an HA cluster called external, and the remote FORTI gate is called branch. Before you begin, you will need an existing IPsec VPN site-to-site -site tunnel between two FORTI gates. Now configure the tunnel interfaces. In order for 40 telemetry traffic to flow securely through the VPN, 40 telemetry traffic must travel between the tunnel interfaces, with the interface on external listening for this traffic. The tunnel interfaces require IP addresses. In this example, the external tunnel interface is assigned the IP address 1.1.1.1, and the branch tunnel interface is assigned the IP address 1.1.1.2. On external, go to Network Interfaces and edit the tunnel interface. Set IP to the local IP address for this interface, and remote IP to the local IP address for the branch tunnel interface. Under Administrative Access, enable 40 Telemetry. On Branch, go to Network Interfaces and edit the Tunnel Interface. Set IP to the local IP address for this interface, and Remote IP to the local IP address for the external tunnel interface. On External, go to Policy and Objects, Addresses, and create an address for the external tunnel interface. Name the interface and set the subnet IP range. Create a second address for the branch tunnel interface. Enter the subnet IP range. For this address, enable static route configuration. Go to VPN, IPsec Tunnels, and edit the VPN tunnel. Select Convert to Custom Tunnel. Scroll down. Under Phase 2 selectors, create a second Phase 2, allowing traffic between the external tunnel interface to the branch tunnel interface. Set the local address to named address and select external tunnel interface. Set the remote address to branch tunnel interface. Go to Network Static Routes and create a route to the branch tunnel interface. Set destination to named address and select the firewall address. Set device to the tunnel interface. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and edit the policy allowing local VPN traffic. Set source to include the external tunnel interface and destination to include the branch tunnel interface. Edit the policy allowing remote VPN traffic to include the tunnel interfaces. On branch, repeat this step. Make sure to include addresses for both tunnel interfaces, and the address for the branch tunnel interface must have static route configuration enabled. A phase two allowing traffic between the branch tunnel interface and the external tunnel interface. A static route to the external tunnel interface, and edited policies that allow traffic to flow between the tunnel interfaces.
When you're finished, go to Monitor, IPsec Monitor, and restart the VPN tunnel, allowing the new Phase 2 to take effect. On Branch, go to Security Fabric Settings and enable FortiGate Telemetry. Set the group name and group password of the security fabric. Enable Connect to Upstream FortiGate and set FortiGate IP to the IP address of the external tunnel interface. Add LAN to the list of FortiTelemetry enabled interfaces. Go to Security Fabric Logical Topology. Branch is shown connecting to external over the IPsec VPN tunnel. On Branch, go to Policy and Objects, Addresses, and create an address for the 40 Analyzer. Enter the subnet IP range. Enable Static Route Configuration. Go to VPN, IPsec Tunnels, and create a Phase 2 allowing traffic between the Branch Tunnel interface and the 40 Analyzer. Go to Network, Static Routes, and create a route to the 40 Analyzer. Set Device to the Branch to External VPN interface. On External, go to Policy and Objects, Addresses, and create an address for the 40 Analyzer. Minimize the Policy and Objects menu and go to VPN, IPsec Tunnels, and create a Phase 2 allowing traffic between the 40 Analyzer and the Branch Tunnel interface. Go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and create a policy allowing traffic from the VPN Tunnel to the 40 Analyzer. Enable NAT for this policy. On Branch, go to Security Fabric, Settings. Under 40 Analyzer Logging, an error appears because Branch is not yet authorized on the 40 Analyzer. On the 40 Analyzer, go to Device Manager, Unregistered. Select Branch and then select Add to register Branch. Branch now appears as registered. On External, go to the Security Fabric Logical Topology. Branch is shown as part of the Security Fabric connecting over the IPsec VPN tunnel. Thank you for watching. For more Security Fabric documentation, go to our homepage or check out more videos here.